Uh, so I've looked at the death deck and the card that I chose from the death deck was um, while you're on vacation, vacation, someone close to you dies, you A, want to know immediately, B, would rather not know until I get back, or C, whatever the people back home decide is fine with me. Um, and I found it really interesting that this card came up in the death deck because um, before my father passed away, I was overseas. I was living overseas for 12 months and um, he was diagnosed with terminal cancer. And my family had to make a decision as to whether or not they would notify me um, and tell me what was happening. And then I had to make a decision whether or not I would come back to Australia. And I was living in Central America at the time and I only had a month until I was due to return to Australia. So um, it was it was an interesting process uh, in, in that my my dad didn't want me to know that he was unwell and my mum had experienced similar when she was a young woman where her father had passed away when um, my family lived in England and the family hadn't told her that he was unwell and so he died and she hadn't been able to see him and return to Australia to um, say her goodbyes. So my mum felt really, really strongly that I should know what was happening for my father and that I should be able to have the choice as to whether or not I would return. Um, so my mum did ring me, uh, even though my dad didn't really want me to know what was happening. Um, she argued that I needed to know and I needed to be able to give, be given the choice. Um, so my family rang me and this is this was a while ago now, so it was back when international phone calls were very expensive um, and we didn't have Zoom or, or connectivity and video calls or anything like that. And she, she rang me um, and it was, a, it was a, a short phone call, but it was a really important phone call where she told me um, what had been happening for my dad um, in that he'd been diagnosed uh, a month earlier. He had been in Perth uh, spending some time with my brothers and he had um, become unwell. The doctors had made a diagnosis and then he had needed then to be transported back to Victoria uh, to join my mum and then to go into treatment in, in Melbourne. And so I learned this whilst I was, I was 16, 17 years old and living in Central America. And my mum said to me, it's really important you know this and you, you know that you have a choice uh, we're not going to say to you that you need to come home. We, we just want you to understand that it is serious. Um, and if you want to come home, you can come home now or you can come home in a month and a half when your ticket was due to, um, to say that you were going to come home anyway. And they gave me a couple of days to think about it because I didn't, I was really, I was, you know, distressed and I was shocked and I needed to, it was a big deal for me to say goodbye to the idea that I was going to um, not finish the time that I had planned on spending um, experiencing Central America and, and living with the people that I had lived with. And so I think I took two days and, um, and then I rang my family and I said, no, I, I want to get on the next flight home and I want to be there with you guys. Uh, and there was a mix up with the messaging. And so the people who were booking my flights actually booked my flights to return four weeks later. And so then I had to get onto the flight bookings people and say, no, no, I need a flight in four days time, not in four weeks time. Um, and I did, I returned, I returned to Australia. Um, it was a rush, but it was a good decision. It was the right decision for me. It meant that I got to spend my last Christmas with my dad um, and that I could be with my whole family throughout his treatment um, and through his end of life. And it was tough, but it was, I, would, I think I would have very much regretted having stayed and my, my head would have been somewhere else. My head would have been with my dad um, whilst I was experiencing other things and so it was it was great to be given the choice 
um, but also um, to take the time to make the decision and not be judged for making a decision either way. And I think my mum did it very, very well and she did it based on the experience that she had had. Um, and that was, that was a real strength in, in what she did. And yeah, I'm grateful for it. I'm really grateful for um, the process that my family took in letting me know and then giving me the ability to uh, do what I felt I could do for my family and myself. Uh, and it made a difference when when it came to the time where I had to say goodbye to dad um, forever. Uh, it made a difference to know that I had been there. So yeah, that, that was, it's a good question. It's a very good question to ask me because it's important. Um, yeah.